Penang is known to be one of Malaysia's food heavens. But sometimes, we want to have something extra in between meals. Doesn't matter if you're truly hungry or just bored and craving for something fun and light, like a snack. So in this video, we're giving you a list of 10 snacks you must try in Penang. If you ever ask for a recommendation what to eat in Penang, there's a high chance that chendol is in the list. Chendol is a sweet icy cool dessert, perfect to cool you down from the hot afternoon sun. As many chendol stalls there are in Penang, a very famous tourist chendol spot is the Penang Road famous Teochew Chendol. It can get really packed especially during weekends and holiday seasons, but if you don't mind the queue, then drop by this place for a slurpy delicious bowl of chendol. So one of the most famous snacks here in Penang that you guys definitely have to try is a Penang Road famous Teochew Chendol. This bowl is 3 ringgit 30 cents. I just gotta try this out. This chendol stall was established back in 1936 and started as a roadside stall. Fast forward to today, it has more than 20 restaurant outlets around Malaysia serving this local favourite dessert along with other local dishes. So chendol is basically shaved ice with coconut milk and pandan rice jelly. Right underneath would be the palm sugar and also some red beans. We give it a little bit of a stir first. Oh, sweet and a little bit of saltiness from the coconut milk and the sweetness from the palm sugar. So good. Oh, it's so soothing. Definitely a must-have. Another channel spot we've tried that is worth mentioning is at the Ayi Itam Wet Market. It is located next to some of the famous Penang Asam Laksa spots and nearby tourist attractions such as Penang Hill. Our next snack on the list is available just down the same alley. Alright, so another famous Penang street snack to get is the mochi, and this is absolutely my favourite. It is basically sticky rice with some peanuts and sugar coating on it. So I was actually looking for her. She used to be selling it next to the Aieta market. I didn't know that she had shifted over here, right at the famous Penang Chendo street. Glad to have found her. One of the best mochi. Besides the original flavour, these days mochi comes in different fun flavours too. Original? Ah, that's some food. Dragon food. So it kind of looks like this. Ah, it's really gooey and sticky. This is made from glutinous rice. It's definitely a big chunk. And I have this. Mmm, so chewy. I just love the soft chewy texture and also that grounded peanuts. Just give it a natural sweetness to it. And added just enough sugar to make it a little bit sweeter. Definitely a fun snack to have. Very light. It's pretty simple yet very tasty and fun to eat. Love it. When in Penang, you definitely have to get these local delicious bite-sized morsels, tambun biscuits, and bete so. This place is my favourite, it's called Him Hyang. And I've always come here and buy back these snacks, not just as snacks, but also as souvenirs. And we always just buy this back for our families and friends. Alright, let's go! All their pastries here are baked daily, specially handmade with a traditional secret recipe passed down for generations. Today is a Monday and we have come here around 4.30. We actually have to wait for our orders. There's still so many cars over here waiting for their orders. We have 35 minutes to wait for our Tau Sa Pia. Alright, so we've got the Tau Sa Pia with us. And this is the biscuit, the famous biscuit with green bean fillings in it. Let's open up and have ourselves a snack. Alright, take a look at that. Woo! They're like mini ping pong ball size biscuits. It looks so cute and still warm. It's fresh from the oven. Mmm, there are a few layers of crust. It's so crispy and the inside is so nice and warm and sweet and a little bit salty and savory. Oh, so good. This is definitely our favorite snack to have every time we come to Penang. The bate so actually has already ran out today, so we have to come back for the next day to get that. There's another alternative option. You can actually WhatsApp to the number to make a pre-order first before you come here. That would probably be the best thing to do so they can reserve your snacks. We are back at Him Hyang and we come here to get my favorite that they saw. Finally, they're in stock again and this time we came early. There's like 8 pieces in here and they're all nicely packed in individual packets. Show you guys what it looks like. There you go. Let's just have this. Mm. It's incredibly flaky. There's a caramel in there. It melts in your mouth. And that crust is super crispy and they have like multiple layers of that crust. That's what I like about Him Hyang's that they saw. It's nicely baked and very very tasty. So good. Our next spot is located in Penang's Little India. 
right along Little India, there's this stall that sells samosa. It's called Penang Famous Samosa. And yeah, that's what we got. This stall serves one of the best samosa in town. Samosa is a triangular-shaped fried puff pastry stuffed with a savoury filling, usually spiced potatoes, onions, and lentils. Over here, besides having a variety of samosas with different fillings, they sell other traditional Indian snacks as well. I've got the chicken, vegetable, and also lamb. I bought five pieces for five ringgit sixty cents. Can't wait to try it. It's piping hot. Mmm, the crust is very crunchy. I'm not sure if you can hear the crunch. Very flaky. And there's a nice amount of filling in there. Very nicely seasoned. I love the flavor. I love the curry powder. I love onions as well. And it's piping hot. That's the best part about it. This is one of the snacks you should have when you come to Penang. It's really, really delicious. This funky looking drink is next in our list. Ice Tin Cup literally translates to ice window, or in other words, window sherbet. If you're wondering why window, turns out this unique looking drink used to be sold right off from the shop's window back in those days. Alright, I'm at this place. It's been here for... You wouldn't believe it. It's been here for 100 years already. Yep, this stall has been around since 1919 and it is currently run by the fourth generation. This is what they're famous for. It's called Ice Tinka. Basically, ice means ice. Tinka means window. It's just right next to Chow Resta Market. It's really famous. During weekends, you'll see a super long queue over here. I just had to come and try it out. Let me explain what's over here, right? It's a nice drink. There's some shaved ice in there. This red color is the rose syrup. And those tadpole looking things are actually the basil seeds. You pour in some coconut water in there as well and some coconut flesh. Let's try this out before it melts. It's so hot. Oh, sweet and refreshing. Definitely have a lot of that rose syrup in there. Those basil seeds give it a little bit of a very interesting texture. There's like the jelly layer outside and inside is a bit of a crispy, crunchy seed. Definitely refreshing. Very good to take it on a very hot day. As in every day. <laughs> this is definitely a drink that you guys have to try. I think it's only unique in Penang. Or oh, right here at Ice Tin Cup. In the evenings at Chulia Street, there is a humble stall right across the famous busy Hawker Street that sells one of the best appam in Penang. It is no wonder there is a long queue for it. Alright, so another favorite snack that we like to get is this appam. And this auntie has been doing it for over 30 years already. This appam stall used to be run by this lovely auntie together with her late husband. Currently, she's managing the stall all by herself, cooking up this delicious crispy sweet appam for customers to enjoy. Appam is a traditional Indian snack made with sugar, eggs, coconut, milk and flour which are mixed together into a batter, then thinly spread into a small wok and cook until it is brown at the sides. That is where all the crispy goodness is. It's kind of like a flat pancake. Alright, let's try this. Mmm! It's super crispy and there's that mild sweetness on a pancake. It also has that fragrance from the coconut as well. Oh, it's a really good snack to have and it's only like 50 cents per piece. You can have so many of these. These appalms are like chips and we couldn't get enough of it. It is a perfect snack to binge on. Penang has a history of Peranakan culture and this is why Penang is popular for its Nyonya Kueh, which is another great snack you must try in Penang. We've got our Nyonya Kueh at this place called Sisa Street Market which is a huge local wet market with half of the area being occupied by hawker stalls serving delicious Penang food. So we got ourselves a bunch of kueh. I've got like six different kueh. I've always liked to start my kueh session with the kueh lapis, which is the layer kueh. Very, very soft and bouncy. Very aromatic as well. Nyonya kueh are like the western cakes and pastries served during afternoon tea breaks. There are many types of Nyonya Kueh and each type comes in various shapes, colour, design and flavour. There are quite a variety of other Kueh as well. You guys can come here and try it out. Overall, the Kueh here are of good quality. Definitely have to try it out. The next on our list is an icy dessert snack, Ice Kacang. We had our Ice Kacang in a few spots here in Penang. The first spot that we wanted to highlight is Swato Lane Ice Kacang. This place has been around since 1923. That's almost a hundred years already. And right now, it's being run by the fourth generation. The place started off as actually a roadside store selling ice balls and drinks. Right now, they have their own cafe serving a variety of desserts and other dishes as well. It is one of Penang's most famous ice kacang stall. 
Their specialty here is their fruity ice kacang. This is the one with the ice cream and three fruits of the day. Mm. So ice kacang don't usually come with the fruits. This is really a really special twist to ice kacang. The other spot that serves the traditional Penang ice kacang is located at the Ai Itam wet market. Besides topped with lots of ingredients, it has sarsi in it, just as it was served traditionally. Oh, it's so good. This has to be like the all-time classic ice kacang. It has sarsi in it. One of the best ice kacang I've had. Another unique snack in Penang that you have to try is Penang Rojak. One of my favourite street snacks to get in Penang is Roja. Roja in Penang is also known as the Fruit Roja. Just got it from 101 Roja right next to Esplanade. This place is a very famous spot to get Roja. Unlike the Roja from Kuala Lumpur, Penang's Roja is a mixed fruit salad topped with a sweet shrimp sauce goodness known as Hako and some crushed peanuts. Quite a number of locals coming here to get this Roja. I add in a sotong, some mangoes, some ambra, pineapples, jambu as well, or guava. And this crispy fritters, and on top of it, you can see this black sauce, the heckle, and some peanuts as well. Alright, just gonna dig in. Mm. So one thing I have to highlight, the fruits are usually a bit more sour and balanced out together with that sweet sauce and it has that aroma for the prawn paste. It makes it all go really well together, it gets sweet, sour and spicy. All the textures in there, it's just such an enjoyable snack to have. But besides the rojak, I actually like this place a lot. Definitely come for the rojak but stay for the view. 101 rojak only opens in the evening so it's about the same time when you get to see this beautiful sunset. Remember earlier I mentioned about the rojak in Kuala Lumpur? Here in Penang, it is known as Pasembor, and you definitely have to try this out. One of the best Penang Pasembor is here at the Karim Pasembor Rojak. There's just so many things going on, and look at how much sauce there is. Pasembor is like a salad with crunchy fritters topped with a generous amount of sweet potato sauce. This stall has been around since 1945 and it still serves the locals' pasembor cravings for more than seven decades. Mmm, so many different textures that's going on. Soft, crispy, crunchy, deep fried, pretty creamy, crispy, the vegetables in there, very, very tasty. So much flavors in this. Sweet, spicy, sour, savory in just one plate. Now this is definitely a must-have in Penang. We hope you guys enjoyed our list of top 10 snacks you must try in Penang. We have other Penang food and travel video as well which you might like to go check it out. So if you like this video, give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. As always, thank you so much for watching. We'll see you guys in the next video. Bye guys!